One of our awesome coaches at VO Heroes, Stuart Goffey, uh, is also the author and purveyor of a great newsletter that uh, gives you tips on how to use Audacity, which is our digital audio workstation of choice. And he brought up a really important point when it comes to our tools. And I want to take it from the specific to the general, because I think it just might help you out. And we'll do that in this episode of the VO Heroes podcast. In a recent edition of his newsletter on Audacity Tips, uh, Coach Stewart, Stuart Goffey, uh, brought up a point that I think is applicable not only to Audacity, but to every tool we use in our pursuit of a professional and high quality performance career in voiceover and in acting and in any other form of storytelling. And I think we sometimes lose sight of it. So I wanted to sort of draw a bead on it and share it with you in a way that helps you understand what goes on. So Audacity is a tool that we use as voiceover talent usually to record dry, single track, mono, voiceover voice tracks. We rarely use it for what other people who have downloaded and installed Audacity do use it for. I'm talking about musicians and producers and uh, creators of any type, people that are doing sweetening for video, who knows. But the use cases for Audacity and for other tools that we use are many and varied and go far beyond what we usually use them for. You probably heard the phrase maybe a, a, a number of times in your career, I only use a small portion of what it's capable of doing, or I'm only familiar with a small portion of what it's capable of doing. And by it, I mean a tool, a software tool, or even a non-software tool, a piece of hardware. And we kind of have to remember that because over time, these tools, again, as Stuart brought up, are going to be changed. They're going to be improved. Their errors in them are going to be fixed. New interfaces are going to be introduced. New options are going to be introduced. In some cases, new defaults are going to be introduced. For those of you who have been through my coursework and understand how to use the stair step method, you may, and have been with me for a while, you may remember back in the day, and by that I mean like over three years ago, as I'm recording this in 2022, um, Audacity's default behavior was to, when you stopped recording, and then you started again, its default behavior was to stop the track and then begin a new track just below and to the right of it. In fact, that's what spawned the stair-step method because you have this pattern. Now, that's not the default uh, behavior. And so in my instruction, I have to remind people to enable that in preferences. These things change all the time. And my message for you today is don't get upset by that. Don't let yourself feel emotional because you get surprised one day when you decide to update a piece of hardware or a piece of software and it doesn't behave the way you're used to having it behave. It's nothing personal. It's not like they sought you out to make you unhappy about this new state of affairs. It often leads to even better use or more streamlined use of a tool you never know until you really investigate it. Uh, and again, having said that, you need to be aware of that. You see posts all the time in ProConnect, our private discussion group, and in uh, groups on Discord and uh, Facebook and on Twitter, people complaining, oh my God, I updated Audacity, or fill in the name of the tool here, and now this is broken. This option doesn't work anymore. Something's changed. All of a sudden, this is, this is the nature of the beast. And it's kind of the thing where, and I have a solution here for you if you get all upset about these things. Ask questions. Instead of 
you know, raising your fist to the heavens and, and, you know, leaving it at that, ask questions ahead of time as well as post update. So if you're thinking of updating to a new version or a new piece of hardware or a new computer or a new operating system, you might want to ask, is there anything I should know about this that you've experienced that I should be aware of? Uh, is there anything I should watch for? And then after the fact, if something breaks or if something is different, you know, do more than just complain that things are different. Ask questions. That's why we're here. That's why ProConnect is there. That's why those groups that you're in in Facebook are there, despite the notion that Often we think those groups are just simply to make fun of everybody. I just wanted to bring that up because I think sometimes we, we lose sight of the fact that it's more than just us in this self-centric world of ours and that other constituencies use these tools. Uh, we likely have no idea what a lot of the stuff that are in the preference panes in Audacity and other pieces of, of software and other items of hardware even mean. But just be aware that we're here to help. Stuart's got a great newsletter. We talk about this stuff all the time. Please understand it's nothing personal. I think that's my whole point. So, uh, yeah, I hope that helps. And if you've got issues, uh, you can leave comments below this. But instead, start a new thread in your favorite discussion group. If it's ProConnect, if you're one of my pros, great. If you're in a Facebook group and you want to do that, ask questions. Don't just complain, okay? Hit the like button if this makes sense for you. If you want to subscribe to the channel, there's a subscribe button, a notification bell if you want to know when these episodes are released. Uh, and if you have comments, please leave them in the comments section below. All right? Hope this helps. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I will see you in the next episode of the VO Heroes podcast.